What's up, everybody? People talking about Aaron Pryor versus Sugar Ray Leonard. What will happen? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Aaron Pryor would get knocked out. He would get knocked out. Well, listen, listen. When, like I say all the time, when, when fighters move up in weight class, when they move up in weight class, they generally do not take their punching power with them. When Aaron Pryor beat Alexis Arguello, Alexis Arguello was moving up to Aaron Pryor's weight class. Now, um, who was that? Trinidad beat William Joppy, but he moved up to William Joppy's weight class, and Trinidad knocked out William Joppy. But like I always said, William Joppy used to work out with plastic suits on. But uh, when Trinidad went up and fought Bernard Hopkins, he got knocked out. When he fought Roy Jones, he got knocked out. Who else? Uh, Shane Mosey. Shane Mosey moved up to 147 and got outboxed by a natural 147, which was Vernon Forrest. Um, when guys move up in weight class, they usually don't take their punch and power with them. And a lot of times, when they move up they, and they win and they knock the guy out, it's usually somebody that they fought that moved up just like they did. Like when, when Shane Mosley fought Manny Pacquiao, they were both fighters that moved up to 147 from a smaller weight class. When Manny Pacquiao beat um, Miguel Cotto, they were both smaller guys that moved up to a bigger weight class. It wasn't like Manny Pacquiao was fighting a natural 147. Miguel Cotto is not a natural 147. His core weight is not 147. He was a small 135, 140. When guys move up in weight class, they usually do not take their punching power with them. Aaron Pryor moving up to 147, he, I think he would get knocked out by Sugar Ray Lindy. He would get knocked out by Tommy Hearns also at 147. Because they, they fought, uh, Aaron Pryor beat Tommy Hearns in the amateurs. But the amateurs and the professionals, it's a different league. So if you ask me, Aaron Pryor moving up to 147 will get knocked out by Sugar Ray Lennon. You don't take your punch or power with you. And you got to make guys respect your punch. And if they don't respect your punch, they're going to keep coming. And I can just see Sugar Ray Lennon getting Aaron Pryor hurt and not letting him off the hook. I could see him getting Floyd Mayweather hurt, not letting Floyd Mayweather off the hook. You know, some guy like Floyd May, Sugar Shane Mosey, I don't know I'm changing the subject, but Sugar Shane Mosey had Floyd Mayweather hurt twice, and he let him off the hook. Sugar Ray Leonard was a good fighter. He don't let guys off the hook. Once he see you hurt, he going to jump on you and beat the crap out of you. So, no, I don't think Aaron Pryor would beat Sugar Ray Leonard at a 147. I don't think Aaron Pryor would beat Tommy Hearns at 147. He beat Tommy Hearns in the amateurs at, what was that, 139, I think that was, they fought 139, 140, 139, back then it was 139. And he beat Tommy Hearns, but I don't see him beating Tommy Hearns as a professional. Right, you know, you fight, anybody can fight, like I said, you know, these guys that wear plastic suits, they wear these plastic suits, and they make weight, and they get away with it, because they're only in the amateurs. They used to wear plastic suits in the amateurs. And they get away with it because in the amateurs, you only fight in three rounds. You only fight in three rounds in the amateurs, is what I meant to say. You fight three rounds in the amateurs. And the pros, you fight in four, six, eight, and ten. It's different. Them guys that be wearing them plastic suits and making weight, that's amateurs. They be doing that and they get away with it because they only fight in three rounds in the amateurs. But when you turn pro, it's a lot harder to get away with that. Guys be getting away with it, but some guys don't make them fight. Manny Pacquiao, that's why Manny, Cap, Manny Pacquiao beat the crap out of Miguel Cotto, because Miguel Cotto like to wear them sauna suits. I see him on YouTube jumping rope with them sauna suits on, and you can always tell them guys to wear them sauna suits, them, them plastic suits, because when they get punched in the nose, they start bleeding from the nose right away. They bleed from the nose, but they get cut real easy up here. And you look at Miguel Cotto, he always get cut up here. But back to what I'm saying, Sugar Ray Leonard versus uh, Aaron Pryor, I think Aaron Pryor would get knocked out. Like I said, Alexis Arguello gave him trouble, and Alexis Arguello came up from a smaller weight class. That's just my take on it. I just want to take on it.